Uh, we welcome you all to this uh, press conference, uh, which is held at the demand of a number of uh, uh, foreign correspondents who have asked to follow the proceedings of the Constituent uh, Committee, the Committee of 50. So uh, once a week, probably always on Sunday at 1 o'clock, we will be holding this conference to answer your questions and to keep you informed about the uh, developments of the uh, committee. The language will be mainly uh, in English, but unless somebody specifically wants an answer in uh, French for his or her uh, publication or channel or whatever, then in this case we will be answering in, in, in French. Uh, I think I will just start by giving you an idea about what has happened so far and what the committee has been doing. Uh, and then uh, I'll be ready to answer your questions. Uh, we should round this up in no more than uh, half an hour because at 1.30 uh, the uh, chairman of the committee, Mr. Amr Musa, will be coming up to answer your questions if you have any specific questions for Mr. Amr Musa uh, himself. Uh, the committee, as you know, was formed by a presidential decree. It uh, had the names of 50 uh, members and 50 uh, other members who were standby in case any of the members uh, uh, fall out for any reason. Uh, unfortunately, we lost one of our members yesterday in a car accident. He is the representative of the farmers and uh, immediately his uh, substitute uh, is going to be taking over as from uh, today. The committee divided itself into six committees, six subcommittees if you like, each one of them concerned with one uh, chapter in the uh, Constitution. So we have a subcommittee for, uh, 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 for the freedoms and the, uh, another for the uh, uh, state and another for the preamble to which we uh, attach a lot of importance. Uh, the preamble of the Constitution, which is going to contain the, the, the philosophy of the Constitution, if you like, and its uh, raison d'etre uh, as a Constitution that has sprung directly from the events uh, of the day, namely the revolution of the 25th of January and that of the 30th of uh, June plus uh, uh, another uh, committee to look into the uh, drafting of the various uh, items. Uh, every uh, article in the Constitution will be discussed in its relevant subcommittee first, and then it will be uh, subjected to a wider discussion in the general committee composed of the 50 members plus the 50 other members who have all the rights uh, of the original members except for the voting. But they take part in the discussion, they express their opinion and in fact they have enriched the discussion uh, quite a lot. We also have with us the committee of 10 these are the, this is a specialized committee uh, which did its work before our committee of 50. They are all uh, uh, judges and uh, people of law who have looked into the uh, tw uh, 2012 constitution, made uh, the necessary amendments and in fact what we are now discussing in the uh, fifth the Committee of 50 is the, the draft uh, of the Committee of 10. We are not looking into the Constitution itself of 2012. We are looking into the document that was 
sent to us by the Committee of Ten, which is an amended copy of the 2012 uh, Constitution. Now, the question that always uh, was posed was, are you writing a new Constitution altogether, or are you just making amendments? And in fact, uh, the presidential decree did not specify uh, how many articles of the Constitution we ought to uh, amend. It just called for the amendment of the Constitution. The amendment can be partial or can be total. Let me tell you that the, the general drive inside the committee is for a total uh, change uh, of the Constitution, so probably every single article of the Constitution is going to be uh, amended or changed or uh, uh, deleted or a new one added or whatever. Uh, so uh, we will be uh, given at the end what can amount to a new document and this is the one that is going to be uh, the subject of the referendum uh, to be expected, uh, I think, within uh, two weeks of our finishing our task. Uh, we have been assigned the uh, we are 60 days to complete our task. Uh, luckily, the presidential decree said 60 days and not two months because in, we were able to uh, ex uh, interpret the 60 days being 60 working days. So that excludes all the holidays, you know, the Eid holidays coming and the 6th of October, and we would have lost something like 15 days all in all from the uh, 60 days period. Um, what else? Ah, so far, the task of the subcommittees was to make the necessary changes they uh, want to do within a period of three weeks. And that would be the first draft that is going to be presented to the uh, general committee, discussed, and uh, the, the following three weeks will see a lot of uh, public discussion uh, based on this uh, first draft. So all what you have been hearing about uh, a tendency to uh, delete uh, something or to add something or to change something, all this is still in the preliminary stage and may not be the case uh, after uh, three weeks or after the six weeks uh, to follow. Uh, this is briefly giving you an idea about what has happened uh, and uh, if you have any specific questions, I'd be happy to answer them. <clears throat> yes? Can you use the microphone? The six subcommittees, yes. I had a difficulty trying to translate them in English, but I, I'll tell you what they're all about. One deals with the, you know, there's a whole chapter in the Constitution about what the state is like. What kind of state do we have? Do we have a parliamentary uh, system or a presidential system? Uh, do we have two chambers uh, in parliament or do we just have one? All these things are lumped together in one chapter and there is one committee in charge of looking into all the articles related to this uh, question. Thank you. Uh, there's another chapter that has to do with uh, the, 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 the constituents of society. There are certain economic, political, uh, and we've added cultural uh, components of uh, the system, the Egyptian system, and there is one committee for that. There's also the committee dealing with 
the rights and freedoms. And uh, here also a lot of new rights have been added, but you know, the, the basic rights uh, stipulated in the uh, Human Rights Declaration uh, are already there. Uh, we have a, a very important committee actually which deals with um, hearing committees. Its work is all organizing hearing committees for different uh, um, groups of people in society who want to come to the uh, committee and express their views and uh, suggest certain articles to be uh, incorporated in the Constitution. And this committee gathers all these suggestions and uh, uh, presents them to the specialized uh, committees. So we have this, this is one way of including the uh, suggestions of the general public. We also have a, um, uh, an email uh, address and a, uh, 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 they, we can be contacted uh, by email and we do receive on that uh, hundreds, thousands actually, of uh, suggestions from people. There is, in fact, I must tell you, uh, a very uh, strong interest by the public in the committee and in what it is doing, and people are venturing all the time to present their proposals and uh, suggestions and discuss uh, what is uh, happening. Uh, and then there's a, the, the final committee which uh, looks into the legal side, legal and linguistic uh, aspect of the, after we've agreed to the article, it goes to this committee to be drafted uh, properly and then to be seen once again by the general uh, committee of 50. We have also agreed that uh, the uh, vote should be no less than 75% for any article to be accepted and incorporated into the Constitution. Is there? Uh, it goes into the, the state uh, apparatus, the first committee I spoke about. And of course there's a lot of discussion on that and on the status of the army and all these things are subject to a lot of discussion now. We have not yet reached any uh, decision. We have not yet gone into the phase of uh, voting and all that. We are still in the process of airing uh, our views and discussing uh, the different points of view, uh, sometimes quarreling, sometimes uh, uh, not. But uh, we have not reached the stage where I can tell you that uh, any of these uh, controversial topics have been adopted yet. There have been a number of articles that uh, have been adopted. I can almost tell you that about th one third of the Constitution, the articles of the Constitution, has already been uh, accepted without any problem. But this is the easy part of the Constitution. The more controversial topics are still to be discussed and, I mean, are still under discussion and we have not reached a, um, any decision about them.